hello hello good people thank you so much for those that have subscribed so today we're going to talk about how to maneuver the aacp website yes so i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to maneuver the website uh of course you type aacp american society of clinical pathology uh you'll get to that page so you click on the first one american society of clinical pathology yes it will open and will bring you plenty of options to choose from now we are interested in a board of certification we want to log in and create an account to to board of certification so we click on board of certification it will bring you here and then it will tell you what you want to do with it uh, do you want to know about board of certification do you want to get uh, credentialed stay credentialed verify credentials or for a program directors who want to do other programs yes uh, so you click apply for credential and then here uh, they'll explain to you the process of application of course applying for an examination uh they'll tell you how to start the process yeah, all all new applicants are required to create a cp account before applying online so this is what i'll be able to show you and when creating your account uh you your first name and last name a uh, match must uh, must match an acceptable form of id so if you have your passport or uh, your national identification card, uh, your first name and the last name match, uh, must match that ID. And then you are being told, please follow the instruction below to ensure a simple application process. Yes. Uh -huh. So you are applying for an examination. Uh, all applications are completed online. All documentation form and letter of authenticity must be uploaded as B PDF documents as part of the online application process. An application is not complete until payment has been processed. Uh, how to log in into your account? Of course, you go to www.ascp.org slash login. Uh, you log in using your customer ID. Uh, you'll be given eight digits that shows your customer ID and your password. Uh, of course, for login assistance, they have given you a customer relation number that you uh, you can call. Uh, if you want to know how to check the status of your application online, of course, you have to log in into your account and you go to BOC activities and then you click on complete BOC exam application. Uh, and then you click on the show detail for the current of status. It will show you the show details of the current of status. Yeah. So um, we have another uh, information here. Update your contact information. If you want to update, maybe you've moved or you want to use a different postal uh, address. You just log in into your ACP account. You click on profile and setting. Uh, you confirm information is correct or up to date and make any necessary uh, changes and save. So it has returned us further back. Uh, yeah, it is further back. So we have to go again. So, yeah, so we have different uh, components you can go through. But for us, we are not interested in uh, U.S. certification because we are international uh, candidates. So we are interested for, uh, in international certification. Uh, so you click here, international certification. And then you find where you lie at. Of course, we are MLS. So we lie here. So we click here. And then MLS, they'll be able to give you the routes which uh, you can be eligible to we have route one route two route three and route four and route five and then uh, we have other resources that uh, you need to submit when you select a route for example if you select uh, route two they are saying a bureaucratic degree from an accredited and approved educational institution in medical laboratory science and 
three years of clinically acceptable uh, experience from an accredited or approved labs. And this in experience must include blood banking, chemistry, hematology, and immunology, and uh, sorry, microbiology. Yeah, so if you come here under Route 2, these are uh, the resources. We have resources here that you need to submit when you apply for this route. So we have this resource. This is uh, for, make sure you select this one for international. We have another one that is not written international. So International Medical Laboratory Scientist Experience Documentation Form for Route 2, 4, and 5. Of course, Route 2, 4, and 5 is all about being employed employed and the number of years that you have worked so route 2 needs three years of experience so you download this form this form is what you take to your workplace and they fill for you make sure you include your customer id of course uh, customer ID is generated once you create an account we'll go there and see how we create an account and um and uh, and you you are given customer ID, so you have to apply for your details here, and then you take it to your uh, laboratory management or employer. And then if you come and see what management means here, they say management is defined as someone in management role who can verify your technical experience. So it's not a must you take to the HR or something. Uh, you just have to take to somebody who can verify. If they call this person and they ask this person, as this person works here for this number of years, as they rotated in all the four requirements of uh, eligibility uh, units, then this person can say okay and then remember after this person fills complete these uh, forms he has to leave his details uh the title the signature the email address and the uh, phone number for his phone number and the institution's phone number and then after he fills all this of course he's given what they mean by rotating in f four areas of the lab and uh, they are being broken down to like these persons have experience in if it's blood banking, a special collection, a bio, RH typing, antibody detection, uh, blood uh, components, all this. You uh, be able to read all this. If you've done all this, then you are eligible for that route. And then after this person uh, completes this form for you, this person will give you another letter uh, called authenticity letter yes so let's read here be sure to include a letter of authenticity from your lab management or employer with this experience documentation form the letter of authenticity must be printed on original letterhead it must state that the experience documentation form was completed signed and dated by your laboratory management or uh, employer experience documentation form received uh, without the letter of authenticity are unacceptable. So you must have this letter together with this form. Uh, remember that, guys. So let's go back and uh, see how you create an account. So if you want to apply for examination, you go here. You say apply now. Okay. Apply now will take you on this window. Uh, where you have U.S. certification, international certification. Of course, we are interested in international certification. So you click on the international certification. And then, yes, it will take you on this window. This window that uh, says that uh, if you have an account, then you have to log in using your username or your ACPI ID or, and your password. But if you don't have uh, your account, then you have to create uh, a new one. So you come here, you click here, create a new account with the AACP. It will give you these options um, whereby you'll be able to write your personal information. Uh, you'll uh, write your first name, middle name, last name, suffix, if you have any, uh, birthday, uh, SSN is uh, not necessary. Uh, it applies to people who are in the US and your email address. 
and then uh, for example if we do a mock application I have an application I can't be able to give my details let's just do a mock application so that more realistic here uh, yeah so, YouTube email address more 2017 at gmail so you click after giving the information you click on create an account will take you to this page whereby you'll be asked uh, some information some personal information about you you'll be asked to, to determine your username you put your password and you retype your password uh, you give a security question depending on what you'll remember best uh, there are different options the best friend in high school, date of birth, mother's mate and name, name of your pet, street where you grew up. And then you'll put an answer, of course. And then you'll put your country and uh, the other addresses will follow. And then you'll give your um, demographic information, uh, how you best describe yourself, uh, who you are according to your uh, your current state, of course, our interest here, if we are all employed, uh, will be technologists or stroke MLS. And then your place of employment, you'll be able to say the category of the employment. Uh, if it's hospital based, uh, if it's a standalone lab, if it's a nursing home or a research lab, you'll be able to give them uh, your title at work. Are you a supervisor? Are you a laboratory scientist, uh, non-supervisory? Uh, are you not employed? Are you a student? Are you a phlebotomist? So you can choose from the many options. And then you'll be asked how many years of experience you have. Uh, note the years of experience will uh, can also determine your route, eligibility route. Like the earlier we looked at um, route two it required three years of experience yes um, your primary interests or responsibility where you currently work at are you a generalist do you work in microbiology or a chemistry lab or cytology lab or administration and all that yes and then ethnicity you can be able to choose are you white black hispanic asian yeah after that you choose your gender and then now you click on create an account i can't be able to go ahead because i've already uh, already have an account that's just uh, an overview on how you maneuver through the ascp website and uh, in case of anything any help that you need of course you can be uh, able to contact them uh they'll give you way forward but this website is straightforward and um it gives you news current news on what is happening uh it gives its members benefits like uh, you can purchase those uh, ce credit points i talked about at a discount because you're a member uh so guys i kindly if you have not done this examination go ahead and register it's as is easy as it gets yes and then uh, you will review with the books that are recommended and the website that i recommended and at the end of the day you will pass so thank you guys so much for listening to me uh for those that have not subscribed kindly go ahead and subscribe for the over 100 people that have subscribed i really appreciate your effort i appreciate your views your likes so kindly tell your friends to subscribe uh tell your colleagues to subscribe and thank you guys see you on the next video bye bye